non-essential skills are now the new essential skills. That's right. Non-essential skills, new essential skills. Hey, Teach Jim here. I'm going to the No Excuses Summit 3 down in Las Vegas in a couple of weeks. And when we do, the skills that we used to have for learning won't do us much good. We'll need some new set of skills. And the reason is they've got tons of new speakers speaking to us. Because of all those new speakers, there's a challenge. It's too much information. We're going to get overloaded. So here's how it used to be. It used to be the teacher or professional gave you the information. And you, as a learner, took them at their word and kind of gave some feedback and that was it. It was a two-way interaction. And every now and again, you might glance over your shoulder and talk to a neighbor and maybe get a little bit of information and feedback from them. Those are the non-essential skills. This peer perspective used to be non-essential. Now it's critical and with a new essential skill. At NES3, when we have 30 speakers speaking to us, it's going to happen like this. It could happen like this. Each listener listens to the message they're taught and they put down their thought. Then they add the next speaker comes in and they add a new thought. Next speaker, next speaker, next speaker. Each one covering a slightly different topic on the same thing. Maybe one will cover a couple of topics. Another one a couple of things here. And each one of the players that are out there listening to these lectures are going to get caught up in this. And eventually, at the end of the day, they'll have bits and pieces of information spread all over the place. Not much good. And for them personally, when they get home, guess what they're going to have to do? Sort that all out. Well, you know, the leaders, Ray and Fernie, have done a nice job of organizing the structure for us. They've given us kind of a hint as to how it will happen. First off, they've told us that there's going to be some traffic. There's going to be some a funnel. There's going to be conversion. There's going to be a team. And there's going to be personal development. These five pillars, they've called them, are kind of how they're structuring the information. That gives us a framework to start from. Well, guess what? What would happen if we use a new essential skill and we share, through the peer's perspective, some of the information that comes to us? A speaker speaks. And we all know that that speaker's talking about traffic at a beginner and intermediate level. Well, we all take our notes and we post them on Twitter, of all places. That's right. And we're able to share those notes. Maybe we have a common ground place that we go to, like at a storm or something. The next speaker speaks and they talk about conversion. The next speaker speaks and they talk about traffic, funnel, conversion, and team building. Somebody else speaks next and they talk about personal development at an intermediate level. Next person speaks about personal development at a beginner, intermediate, and advanced level. You start to see that all these tweets, all this information that's shared among the peers can be out there and we can all partake in it. We can participate in it. When the event's over, we go home back to our family and our house. Guess what we can do? We can take that same information and we can compress it. And all of a sudden we can put a mastery course together on traffic. We can put a mastery course together on funnels. We can put a mastery course together on conversion, on team building, on personal development. Maybe we want to put together the course, the beginner course, on internet marketing. There's the course on internet marketing. Maybe we want to have a, just a beginner's course on traffic. There's the beginner course on traffic. You start to see where we can repurpose this information into a product that we can generate at home. Maybe we can build it there. I would look forward to working with you in the what I'm calling the new essential skills third dimension. That's right, the peers perspective. NES3D. So look for the hashtag NES3D on Twitter. You'll start to see some of the hints and clues and we'll post some things about some webinars and meetings that we'll have where we can coordinate our note taking to come together with products, purposes, and directions for ourselves to go home and not be confused, but instead taking all this information, organize it in a way that's going to be meaningful for you and for me. I look forward to seeing you at NES3D. There you go. Thank you. Oh, that's right. The hashtag, remember? Put the hashtag on it, NES3D, Twitter. See you there. Bye.